Hello everyone, welcome to this Phantom Botics Combat Robot and BattleBot event recap for Robot Riot 2021. This tournament had some absolutely incredible fights, and starting off with my robot Phantom Fire versus Slip, my robot is a heavy hitting horizontal spinner versus this Viper Kit Flipper. I wasn't sure initially off what was going to happen, but easily ripping off his flipper and then the arm as he goes and drives into the pit away out of fear, I suppose. You can see afterwards, just from those three hits, all the damage that was done on the flipper, wedge, and robot as a whole. This next fight is Phantom Salt, my robot versus Werewolf. After taking off the second wheel, the robot driver told me to stop and tapped out, and as you can see in this blade hit, the biggest damage was from himself as his blade went and flung himself across the arena. I thought it was pretty cool to see in slow motion. His next fight is my robot Phantom Cyclone versus Dragline, an impressive drop saw. Dragline is much, much faster than I am, and I did not realize this right off the bat, so I had to gain my bearings and choose a different strategy. After being pinned for a few seconds, I sl finally slowed down my drum, which gave me a better catch, and he was momentarily stuck and high-sided. I was hoping this would be the end of the fight, but he came back to life and kept on fighting. Turning back up the drone's power, you can see it does a lot more damage and is starting to get a lot more of a catch as he's running right into the drum instead of like before where he was pulling me from the backside. His little wedge would start getting pulled up, as you can see, which lets me get under him again and again. Grinding away at his wheels right now was extremely helpful in this fight. He's still able to get his weapon spinning, but it isn't able to do much as I slow it down with a quick hit. My favorite part is this audience member screaming at me to go to the pit, as I, of course, am trying to, but then again, it is all in good fun. With 15 seconds left in the fight, I get flipped upside down, and you can see get flipped back thankfully, rips off one of its wedgelets, and for one more time gets popped over. This goes to the judges, and it was a great fight, and afterwards you can see despite him having faster drive, at the end of the fight his drive was much weaker as able to push him over. The fight went to me, and I was super happy to see that Phantom Cyclone moved on in its first fight as it completely had an epic first battle. You can see all the damage that was done to, as he called, not Saw Blaze or Dragline, the opponent, to the wheels, And but you can also see on my drone spinner a nice chunk was taken out of, which also had a crack in the front of the frame, which I ended up switching out for the next fight. Not to be confused with a rumble, this is Phantom Cyclone versus the Robot Rumble. Another drop saw, surprisingly. I unfortunately get flipped upside down right at the beginning, but you can see that his weapon is now gone, which almost use makes him harmless to me. I speed up through this entire fight because what happened is we got stuck on each other over and over since I was upside down and on his ginormous smooth wedge, so I'll slow it down to this last part, which is much more interesting. Finally getting flipped upside down again. My favorite part is on the bottom of this wedge. He knew he was going to get flipped over eventually, so he wrote, oh no, on the bottom. My horizontal spinner, Phantom Fire versus Lupin, the three-wheeled wedge bot. 
Lupin actually has a very strong UHMW frame, so I wasn't sure how much I was going to be able to catch with such a thick, heavy bar. So I just directed my efforts towards that metal wedge with a nice catch point on the edge. At this point, I believe I've disabled one of his three wheels. Finally, I also have him on the wall, which gives me a much better catch because he has more resistance behind him. So I'm slowly eating away at that UHMW frame and his internals on the inside. Lupin at this point stops moving and gets counted out, but I still enjoyed testing my horizontal spinner for this because it was really great proof of concept to show how much damage a 150 gram blade could do. This was super, super heavy blade for an ant weight robot. As you can see, it really took a lot of impact, especially when it hit against the walls, and it held up surprisingly well with all these flips and tumbles that went on. This next fight is the finals for Beetleweight, Phantom Cyclone for Hexy's Revenge. There's a few robots that had to forfeit in between this. Hexy's Revenge is a pretty low wedge, so I line him up against the wall and was able to get under them because of my small little wedgelets in the front of my 3D printed frame. I'm being quite cautious right now because I don't want to go right into the frame, the pit, sorry, myself, and I really, really, that would be a terrible ending to this fight, so I move myself over to get a better position and have a perfect swish right into the pit. You can see the titanium sparks for his wedge, and as this nice pop finally gets him right into the pit, and I get first place in the beetleweight category. And as I was saying earlier, there was a few beetleweights which had to forfeit due to damage issues. Phantom Fire, my robot, versus Antimatter, another powerful undercutter. Antimatter has a blade about half the weight of mine, which is why I'm able to stay more in one place as he gets going bounced around. But he does have that lower wedge, which is quite damaging. As I was saying earlier, my heavier blade allows me to stay in one place as he gets sent flinging. Unfortunately, at this point, I lost my weapon, which was really a shame because this was going to be a great fight. And I didn't physically lose it, but I was no longer able to control it because the motor that was spinning the weapon just got tapped by its undercutter slightly. You can see that wheel barely hanging on on my Phantom Fire horizontal spinner. And so at this point, the actual match went the whole way just like this. He was never able to do much to me other than this because I just kept my blade towards my front and my frame held up. And so the blade went, or the fight went to antimatter. This was for third place in the antweight category as there was a few more fights that went over here. And so I was super happy to get place in the ant division. So moving on, Fantafire, my other robot, versus Pulsar, a dual vertical disc. At this point, my wire got clipped for my weapon ESC, which I was so disappointed about because this would have been a really, really heavy hitting fight. But you can see my frame was so low without even a wedge, it was, he was having a hard time getting under me. I was hoping that I would be able to break his weapon by putting that AR-500 blade right into his. Unfortunately, I get flipped upside down, and there's not much I can do from here, so I just decided to give it a tap out. Phantom Salt versus Lu Jinx. You can see it slightly bends the weapon motor and flexes so that it gets stuck on my blade, which means I can no longer spin up my weapon. Lojinx has that undercutter, and at this point he bumped my weapon switch so that I could no longer drive or move my robot as my power was got bumped off. A sad way to get knocked out. This is an epic, epic beetleweight rumble as we have three robots, the ones that you saw earlier all in this because the other ones were knocked out due to damage. And I start off by letting them fight each other and then come in from behind.
You can see the drop saw went with a different configuration for its wedge, which I'm not exactly sure which one was more efficient, but I was so close to getting my battery hit right here, which I'm really glad he wasn't able to go back farther. All I could do was barely tap my wheels, which didn't really do much since they're full foam. Some nice pops on rumble and grinding away at the back. I'm also very glad I put on wheel guards because it really, after fight, you could see a lot of scratches on them that would have been chunks out of the wheel, but no longer happened. I almost got shoved into the pit right now and I was glad I was able to weasel my way out of there. That was a really bad situation to be in because that would have been a disappointing end to this fight as I was enjoying taking control of most of it. I was getting definitely some good pops on every robot that I encountered here, especially when hitting them straight on with my drum. So far this drum has not stopped the entire fight. And I was super happy that I ended up taking the win for this uh, rumble as well. So, so far, my robot for the last two tournaments in the Midway class has been undefeated, which I'm very happy about. I also wanted to include this notably amazing hit. Not the specific one right here, but right here as the blade of Vibe Check gets flung off, goes across the arena around four times, and then gets a perfect hit right into the arena, which is a really, really great move by pulsar i just want to include that thank you for watching our event recap and please subscribe and comment your favorite fight